So here we are on the Flash Forge Finder. Finally doing a, another print. Um, this is the Fairy Tale Castle, uh, made between two European castles. I think kind of merged together. Um, I'll have the link for the Thingiverse um, file in the description. Um, and as you can see, it is printing pretty damn good. So that is I'm actually trying to remember my sense. Uh, it's printed at 200 degrees Celsius in uh, BQ PLA. That's light blue PLA. Um, it is at 0 0.01 millimeters, um, and it may be 0 0.015. Um, I might have it wrong. So it's either 0 0.01 or 0 0.015. So there's 100 microns or 150 microns. It's printed at 50 millimeters per second, um, which is actually quite fast for the amount of detail it's getting. If you look at that, and this is printed. Um, not sure of the exact size, probably about 30 to 40 percent of the actual size. So, I did read that 50 percent should be the minimum you go down to with this model because this whole model is about a foot big. But obviously, with the Flash Forge Finder, it's a 14 centimeter by 14 centimeter by 14 centimeter, so that's a 14 centimeter cubed build area. Um, and if I can zoom in here and I'll show you after, it's not bad at all. You can see it's got all the windows. Uh, a few artifacts and at the peaks of each spire will have a little bit of blobbing as it does with most printers that I see. Um, the trees come out really nicely. They're actually designed so they will come out nicely. Um, I like how they're done. It looks to be all made without needing supports as I haven't put any and as you can see it's printed nicely. But considering this is printed at, um, so this was 50% of the original size and then an extra 30% taken off of that. So um, pretty small <laughs> overall um, this will be about 14 centimeters high just under uh, and it has at the moment 93 percent left to go and as you can see it's been printing for 22 and a half hours exactly only seven percent left but that seven percent is inversely proportional to the whole thing so for example it will be seven percent seven percent of layers left but the top layers which are just the spirals are a lot less than the spire the uh, layers down there when there's a lot more infill and a lot more perimeters to do so this should be probably another 45 minutes I'd say and I reckon it will be done, no let's say an hour, at least an hour, maybe an hour, an hour and a half and then it should be done. Um, I can't remember exactly how that topic goes, if it's just the spires next or not. Um, and then I'll show you in a second how it looks once it's done. So this is at 99%, almost done. I actually just got to go out so it'll be finished by the time I get back. And you see there's a little bit of stringing at the top there for the spires. Um, this little spire, if I zoom in, so I'm just getting my elbow there. Um, that one there, it's pretty impressive actually, considering how small that is. That's like half a millimetre at that point. Um, and this printer doesn't cope too well with small points like that, but still impressed with the detail. You've got to remember how small this model, sorry, I mean, my finger there, is actually, compared to the scale it's meant to be, it's just incredible um, to have printed this. I'd love to see this painted actually. Almost tempted to do that. Um, but yeah, so uh, in a second it'll be done. So um, once I get back, then I'll uh, film it and um, this will be done together and I'll upload it. So that is 99%, 24 hours, 15 minutes. So give it another 10 minutes maybe, should be done. Okay, here is the finished print. So um, pretty actually damn impressed with how it came out. Um, so I looked back at the calculation and I know that the amount of layers was around 1300 and uh, or 1300 and something um, and the flash forge finder um, is 14 centimeter cubed so it means that this must have been 0.1 millimeter um, and then if I uh, try and get this off the, uh, the bed if it wants to come pretty stuck on there Blah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we are. Um, not bad at all for what it is. Um, and if you can hear some weird noises, that's my uh, little rabbit. Um, and yeah, look at this. So I mean, 0 0.1 millimeters. What an amazing print. Um, you can see the windows it's got there. Let me just focus a bit better. There we go. It's got all the windows. Obviously, um, it's not perfect. But it's got the frames, it's got the windows, it's got the arches around here. I I think it's coming out amazing. The trees look great. We just focus on the trees here. See how close we can focus. Focus those ones. There we go. Um, the little trees down the bottom. 
Uh, let's see what issues we have got. Uh, it may be at all some little dodgy bits there with the overhang. Um, it's one little bit just there. Um, and a little bit there. So basically just a couple of the overhangs. But remember with the finder, I have no fan on the um, on the nozzle on the hot end. So that may be why. Um, uh, a couple of little bits of stringing. So you can see a little bit of stringing just there. And up by the spires. Uh, a little bit of stringing around there. Uh, and obviously it's hard to do a fine point. Um, because... Well, it gets finer than the actual nozzle, which is 0.4 millimeters. Uh, there's this bit here on the roof, and I'm not actually sure that was meant to be there or not, because it's quite neat. Uh, so I might actually have to check at the model again. But apart from that, with a little clean up, not bad at all. So this again, 0.1 millimeters. Uh, I think it was 50 millimeters per second with about about the same travel speed. Um, if I've got that wrong from what I said earlier, um, you see, I'm just trying to remember exactly what they were. Um, came out really well. Um, excuse the dodgy surface there, it's because of all my glue on the print bed. But I'll get the new printer soon. Um, so, what I might do actually is try to intersect this in two or four pieces, maybe even three. We'll see if I can find the right areas to do it. Maybe kind of there, just inset that bit, or maybe there and then kind of halfway through the buildings there, and see if I can print this even bigger. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So, this was. Um, 50% reduced and then reduced by another 30% so not bad at all if you ask me look at that there looks so neat um, yeah so uh, I'll be uh, getting some more print videos up and soon I'll be getting the i3 mark 2 and I'll be getting a hell of a lot more prints up and actually let me just zoom into uh, how well this looks on this side because that's actually amazing that has come out so well the detail on that is incredible um, yeah so thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe and I'll be getting more um, 3D printing videos up constantly because uh, something that never gets old. Alright, see you later.